Hey guys, Nick here, and welcome to another episode of the Sky Map. And today, guys, we are going to be building an automatic pumpkin farm, which is something I've never done in Minecraft before. Uh, however, we are going to real quick switch to programmer art because that's something I forgot to do in this video. And today it'll actually come in handy because just before I started recording this video, I had an idea to make this video more interesting. So I've never built a uh, automatic pumpkin farm before. I thought I'd make it a little extra interesting for my first time. Let's grab this. All right. That's right, guys. We're going to be wearing a pumpkin on our head while building it. That'll be fun. I'm sure this will be a nice challenge. Uh, but first... I'm going to take this off so I can show you guys. I finished this. Yeah, this is all done now. Um, yeah, it took me a while, but I managed to finish this up. Don't know how many resources actually fell in here. You know? Uh, real quick. Yeah, I'm on easy mode. I don't know why not more mobs are spawning. I wonder if they are and I just can't see them. Let me check. They're in here. All right, cool. We. So yeah, where do I plan on building this pumpkin farm, may I ask? Oh my God, this restricts your vision. Not as badly as you'd think though. Well, I thought we'd build the first part of it right here. I plan on making this bigger, don't worry. Uh, but yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be, this is gonna be real tough. Uh, I need dirt. I just realized I don't have any dirt. Uh, I'm gonna go in third person. Oh man, that makes things so much easier. Um. All right, dirt, dirt, dirt. Oh, we have tons of dirt. There we go. And let me grab my netherite hoe, the wart blender. All right, with the wart blender, my trusty pumpkin and some pumpkin seeds. Uh, let's get going. So let's start with this bit. This is going to be where we place down our actual seeds and stuff. I wanted to build this up a little higher, didn't I? Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah. There. There. Alright. So yeah, let's place down a layer of wool. Alright. There. Come on. I can break a torch. There we go. There. Oh man, this is actually like, this is really hard. You can see a lot better through these than you'd think though. Alright. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Boom. Hopper. So, yeah. Now, if you've never seen an automatic pumpkin farm before, what the heck was I even planning on here? Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I think this was just to specify, like, the hopper goes there. And, like, maybe a chest out front here, but nay. I've actually decided 
to go for something else. Uh, and it's similar. It's similar to that, but I plan on building it much, much nicer. Uh, because that took forever. I don't want to spend any more time on something that like that. So instead, what we're gonna do is have a like, like a total collection point underground. So place the hopper there. There will be a point underground. Let me mark this there. So yeah, I'll break that block later. And yeah, also this mic is so close to my face. There we go, that's better. It's nicer for me at least. All right, there. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what we gotta do, here's what we gotta do. Water, that leads down there, and water, that leads down here. Now this is a quick tutorial on how to build an automatic pumpkin farm. You need a piston and an observer. There, and place our piston there, or our observer there. So, do that. And we have our pumpkin seeds. So as that grows, the observer will activate. Now we need our redstone circuit. Uh, Peter, there we go. And trust me, this works. I tested this out in, uh, in my creative world. This works. Like it took a lot of experimenting, but I got it to work eventually. There, and there, ah. Shoot, come on, there, and redstone dust, there. You know, I might remove all of this glass here and replace it with... Uh, but yeah, let me, let me show you real quick. So if I place this, see? Anytime this the stem changes as you, um... As you get pumpkins, the stem actually changes shape. So the observer will trigger when it sees that. And, ah, uh, yeah. In this system, it's very compact. Like, redstone isn't that insane. However, this is a, not necessarily complicated, but cool thing I'm building in Minecraft that I've never built before, and I built with a pumpkin on my head. I'm not even that good with redstone, I just like, you know, you know when you're not good at redstone? Anyway, the reason I want to change it up is because, change up the sides, is because this looks nicer. I looked at this in my creative world, this looked so much nicer, it's becoming nighttime. Now if you guys are wondering why you can stuff a pumpkin on your head, or stuff your head into a pumpkin. Uh, the reason you can do this in Minecraft is because uh, when wearing a pumpkin on your head, you actually uh, cannot be seen by Endermen. And it, oh my god, there's a pumpkin on my head. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is going to be the next few episodes of me building this, uh, this pumpkin farm. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be just one unit of the farm. There are going to be several more. Alright. 
there. There. And boop. All right, place down all of this. All right, and there. You heard that? Yep, this stem here changed. Uh, it would be easier for me to show you in third person. So that stem changed. That one right there, and now it triggered. It triggered the observer. Uh, so yeah, all of that is ready to go. Uh, okay. Oh my god, I got... I got, I got some stuff in my nose. Dang it. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do that. And there. If you're wondering why I'm using blocks and not panes, uh, this is layered. Keep that in mind. This is layered. So if you were to... If the piston pushes it out, which is at the pumpkin, it could fall onto the pane and then just get stuck. So we're using uh, glass blocks instead. Might be more costly, but way more effective. I'm no cheapskate, okay? Also, uh, another thing, we still have tons of brown stained glass panes. Like, look at this. We have so many. Anyway, what was I looking for? Uh... Oh yeah, pumpkin seeds. Uh, I can grab some pumpkin seeds right after we do the building part. And if you're wondering why we're building an automatic pumpkin farm, it's because uh, I've wanted to build pumpkin farm for a while, but then I was like, you know, manual is gonna take forever. I already have to spend a while on the cocoa bean farm. So, instead of that, ow, instead of that, let's go with a system that'll automatically do it. Alright, here we go. And, there. There. So, yeah. This is probably going to be one of the coolest things I've ever built. And I think it's the SkyMap's first automatic farm. Like, we have the wheat farm, which is kind of automatic, but... This is a completely automatic farm, and I'm building a highly delicate redstone machine with a pumpkin on my head. There is a sprout there, okay. Huh. Anyway. There. 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 We need to grab all this glowstone and stuff. Or place down all this glowstone. You know why? Because it'll light up pumpkins so that they can still grow. That's why. I actually forgot. Uh, that's a thing with me. I just sometimes forget what I'm saying. Uh, there. 
there. Boom. All right. And there we go. Also, I do have orange sheep if we need to uh, do some shearing. All right, there. Yeah, this is going to be vertically layered. There. All right, come on. Okay, okay, this is close, this is close. We gotta get a couple more. We need some more uh, orange wool. I think we're gonna wanna use some ladders. So, yeah. I have tons more sta- oh, I don't have tons more. Okay, that's great. I thought I had way more than that, my bad. Uh, yeah. I had so many materials when I came into this. What happened? Right, uh... Oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. Let's get some of this. They're all like, why does this stupid idiot have a pumpkin on his head? Come on. We gotta get as much wool as possible. That way, we can finish building at least another layer. Uh, yeah, I want to just get one wing of it done on camera, and then the rest, I'm going to just build a bunch of others off camera. Build a complicated hopper system. And then bring that down to the bottom layer. Also, something I, uh... I wanted to do was I realized how impractical uh, the uh, down to the underground thing was because like this is just stupid like I could fall and I'd be down there already so I was like I'll just sponge up all this water that'll be easy nope there are no sponges in the sky map I, uh, I learned off camera, we don't have sponges here. So that's cool. Am I breathing underwater with a pumpkin on my head? I get there's bubbles and stuff, but really? I highly doubt that would matter. Anyway. Yeah, let's get one more layer done. And then I'll end off. Okay, piston, piston. Come on, we're doing this today. We're, we're not... All right, there. There, there. There. Boom. Come on. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we go. Bap, 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 bap. Bap, 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 bap. Bap, 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 bap. Bap, 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 bap. All right, there. All right. Uh, see, I had the seeds from earlier. I'm gonna grab some more pumpkins. Any pumpkins I had before, I probably spent on bone meal already, so I need to get some more. Alright, let me grab an axe. 
Ow. Uh, here we go. Spruce handle. Time to be a pumpkin while destroying pumpkins. Oh yeah, there we go. So glad I didn't build a giant manual pumpkin farm. That would have, like, that would have been a waste. That would have been one heck of a waste of resources. Huh? Ah, uh, shoot. <laughs> All right, up and down. All right, back here while I do this. See, so when these stems change, uh, they'll, they'll change when the pumpkins grow, and a piston, if a piston pushes a pumpkin, then it breaks. Bet you didn't know that, unless you play, like, Skyblock or something, in which case you definitely did know. Oh, that? I, uh, I thought I broke that pumpkin. Ow. Bro. Ow. Okay, there. Alright, uh, I'm definitely framing this. <laughs> this pumpkin after I'm done using it. Because, you know what? That's going to be necessary. Yeah, we have had this giant farming district. I'm surprised I've never built an actually, like, automatic farm. A lot of these are very manual. Well, not a lot of them. And eh, most of them. As far as I haven't built an automatic sugarcane farm, I have the giant sugarcane farm, but I don't have an automatic one. It's kind of weird. Anyway, guys. Uh, yeah. That's going to end this video here. In the next episode, we're going to finish this up. Along with, that will be the last episode in the Programmer Art Texture Pack. Which is kind of sad, because I just, I'm doing this big challenge in it. So, yeah. But anyway, guys, that's going to end this video. If you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, share this video with everyone you know and love. And I will see you all later. Bye!